Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a timepiece that came out of Basel World 2010, representing just about everything Blancpain has to offer in a single watch. This is the 50 Fathoms Chronograph Flyback Contium Complete. A complete calendar moon phase, flyback diving chronograph. Got all that? Good. 45 millimeters in stainless steel. It is a big timepiece on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist. 45 millimeters being the diameter, 17.3 millimeters being the thickness. Although across the wrist, it wears a treat. This is an easy big watch to wear as it's only 50.6 millimeters from lug to lug. And you can see that the lugs are nicely tapered and curved to arc around the wrist. So though it is big, I can still recommend this watch for wrists as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. The spacing between the lugs is 23 millimeters. So it's a big watch that spreads its wings well. It looks proportionally stanced and planted on the wrist, and it feels that way as well. The timepiece features a sailcloth strap, and I've previously reviewed this watch, but I reviewed it on the deploying clasp. Here we have the sailcloth strap, which is very, very resistant to tearing, scratching, scuffing, and essentially decomposing in any regard. This will last, in all likelihood, your entire tenure with the watch. Rubberized on the underside, you can see that it has that natural vulcanized rubber to prevent the coarse and abrasive textile from aggressing against the wrist. There is a pin buckle here rather than the deployant clasp of the previous version I reviewed. So technically for me, this is a different watch. I'll review every example and every version. There are hex screws that are used to fix the strap to the case. And I always prefer to see screws rather than spring bars. This is doing things the right way, offering an extra measure of security. The case is entirely hand polished with a lovely break between the case band and the lugs and the blanc pas nameplate on the flank. The the lugs themselves are short and as I mentioned, sharply downward tapered. You can see how stubby they are. They barely project beyond the case. That's why this watch wears so well. The bezel has a lush domed sapphire cap and that sapphire cap creates the appearance that the bezel is permanently wet. The glossy gleam reflects light in dramatic ways. It is a dive bezel. It is fully loomed. So everything you see here, not just the pearl is loomed thanks to the scratch resistance and protection of the sapphire. Listen to this one turn. I have to mention that this particular bezel on this particular model is a little bit sharper with a more pronounced and vocal ratchet than you'll find on the other 50 Fathoms models. I consider that a good thing. The dial is a metallic blue, and as you can see, it's a couple of different metallic patterns as there's a sort of rose lathe billowing undulation that radiates out from the center. And then there's a satin finished hour track. Let's get a little bit closer, see how close we can get without losing the focus. Now the dial has that rose lathe pattern at the center, but then it has a satin finished hour track. You have sunken registers for the chronograph as well as a coaxial indicator for the moon phase down at six o'clock, which also includes constant seconds. Triple calendar with a radial indicator for the date. You have the day, the month, the date, the moon phase. You have a chronograph and the chronograph, I should mention, is a flyback chronograph. So you have that extra functionality. There's also a brilliant underlug corrector system. So there are no pusher adjusters on the flank of the case for the calendar. Everything is done underneath the lug. And let me demonstrate how this works. Watch the radial date indicator jump around the dial. You could do all this without having dimples on the flank of the case to mar the look of the watch. It doesn't compromise the 300 meter water resistance and the system internally prevents you from accidentally correcting the date indications during the midnight danger zone, that period when the watch is jumping its calendar. It's a very smart system and there's a reason why this movement has 448 pieces and 37 jewels. You can see the display case back with a white gold Nautilus style shell. I really feel like the Patek Philippe needs to have this wind mass on it. The movement is beautifully executed. This is the caliber 66 BF8. It's based on the Frederic Piguet 1185, but it adds the flyback functionality and the complete calendar plus the adjuster system. It's adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. It features a 40 hour power reserve, beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It has both column wheels and vertical clutches. So the actuation is extremely crisp and the system will engage without any jump or stagger by the second 
seconds hand. You can also leave the chronograph running full time because of the vertical clutch architecture. The bridges feature a handsome engine turning on their top, which is unconventional for bridges, as we're used to seeing engine turning on plates and Cote de Genève on bridges. But this is an effective look. There's also an engine turning below the balance, a micro engine turning, mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridge. So this is a hand finished movement. You'll note not only is there that mirrored anglage, but both the crenellated towers and the screw capped the column wheel, plus all of the screw heads are black polished and the slots of the screws themselves are chamfered. So this is a robustly decorated movement that puts it all together. Complex, functional, brilliantly engineered, and at the same time artisanally finished and beautiful in a dive watch that defies categorization. It's essentially a category and a genre of one. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Back with the 50 fathoms and its fully loomed bezel, one feature I should mention is that though it appears to have screw down crowns, you do not need to screw the crowns up or down to use the chronograph. They are a screw down look. The chronograph is always available for actuation.